Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly. Ah! And welcome to podcast, whoops, 3.2. Come on. There we go. State the Actet rule and explain why elements in the first energy level is their valence shell and exception to the rule. Define Vesper. Explain the difference between single, double, and triple bonds. Explain the difference between a molecular formula and a structural formula. Draw, so we're going to talk about shapes. Name, we're going to talk about the names of those shapes. And describe the shapes of molecules with two to four regions of negativity. So let's go ahead and hop to that. Why do atoms bond? Stability occurs when the valence shell is full. That is lower energy. Lower energy. So when bonds form to release energy. Why do atoms bond? To release energy. And stability occurs when your valence shell is full. So notice how sodium here has a full one here. This one, it goes boop, boop, and goes there to fill up chlorine. And then the positive and negative likes each other. That's one way to do it. Valence shell electron pair repulsion. Valence, outer shell, that's where the electrons are. Electrons, and then electrons always come in pairs, and they repel each other, so they push away from each other as much as possible. Electrons repel each other and spread out. This determines the shape of the molecule. So if I have two things right here and these guys repel each other, they'll get as far away as possible until they are here, right? That'd be a bigger bond angle. If this is like a 60-degree bond angle, then this would be a... 180 degree bond angle and they're farther away. Use Lewis dots and connect the dots to share and get a full octet. Full means low energy and stable, right? When you're full, the bear doesn't chase after you. No, he just rubs his belly works, you little bear. Lewis dot represent representatives for elements. So basically, if you remember the valence electrons, these are the numbers of valence electrons you have. Okay? I would recommend just on your periodic table labeling those valence electrons. Notice how there are four regions. This one has one electron, one region, two electrons, and two regions. They form pairs once you get to the fifth. So there aren't any pairs until you get to the fifth. Okay? And this is what an individual electron, an individual atom's Lewis dot would look like. So let's take a look at water. Now, when we do Lewis dot structures, the least frequently occurring one goes in the middle. Least frequent in middle. So that means it's going to be O, it's going to be S. So I'm going to start with oxygen. Oxygen's right here. Now oxygen, my periodic table, is in the six valence electron column. So I can give it six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Notice I keep my electrons kind of as far away as possible, the pairs and stuff. And then H, H goes here, and H goes here. I aim it at, aim at single electrons. So hydrogen is right here. It has one valence electron. Uh oh, I'm going to cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then I connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. That's it. H2S. S is the single one. S has, let's see how many valence electrons does S have. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And it's got H's again. H. H. And I know it has one from last time. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Now, why is this full? Oxygen has two, four, six, eight. That means it's happy. Oxygen's happy with eight. Now, hydrogen, remember, is a little guy. He only needs two to make to be full. So hydrogen has two. Hey, that's not fair. It counts in both spots. Oh, I remember that from the last podcast. Yeah, it counts for both of them. Diatomics. I'm going to do some of the diatomics. We'll do fluorine. Fluorine has seven. See how it's seven? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I have a single electron, so I'm going to aim my other fluorine. Remember, the diatomics are Honkelbrith. H-O-N-C-L-B-R-I. And these guys, remember, are always together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Connect the dots. La, la, la. That's pretty easy. Oxygen has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to aim it at this one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Now when I do this, I'm going to connect the dots. Dumb connecting of dots, right? So, but those are the ones you want to connect. So what you can do, you're the master of the electron. So you're going to pick up this electron and pick up this electron and put it right here and go, bam, I have a double bond. Oxygen has two, four, six, eight. He's happy. Whee! Two, four, six, eight. He's happy. Whee! And then nitrogen's another one that's a weirdo. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to aim my single bonds at it again. So it's a pair and three singles. Connect the dots. Now if I do this, this looks kind of ugly and weird. So my triple bond should be all kind of scrunchied together. Do, do, do. Scrunchy, scrunchy. So nitrogen has two, four, six, eight. This one has two, four, six, eight. It's full. And two is full. <laughs> CH4, CCL4, NH3, pickle 3. Least frequently occurring goes in the middle. Carbon. Carbon has four valence electrons. And you look in there. Hydrogen has one valence electron. Hey, I've done these before. And then all I do is connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. So carbon has two, four, six, eight. It's happy. Carbon. Now chlorine is in the is a halogen and it has seven valence electrons. Seven valence electrons will be three pairs in a single. And if I have four of them, I'm going to aim them at every one of those single electrons. So just to show you again why chlorine has seven. Come on, one more. Chlorine's in the seven column, so it has seven valence electrons. And then I just connect the dots. La, and those connecting those dots, what that is, and I didn't say this, I'm sorry, those are bonds. That's a bond. Okay? And it's a shared bond. Oh, share, right? So those look pretty much the same. NH3. Nitrogen has five. One, two, three, four, five. If I'm doing H3, hey, I remember hydrogen has one. Connect those dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. La, la. It's wonderful. Two, four, six, eight. And hydrogen is one bond to be full. Pickle three. One, two, three, four, five. Chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. Each chlorine has seven. Make some bonds. La, la, la. Make some bonds. La, la. Wasn't that nice? Woohoo! That was fun! Yee, doggies! And the one I forgot to do was water. I think I meant to do water on the last one, didn't I? I did water. Check that out, man. I'm already done. Structural formula conveys the arrangement of the atoms. And molecular formula gives the count. So that means that this guy right here shows the arrangement. It's a structural one. And this just gives the count. So it's the molecular one. So this one right here must be a structural one. And then I'm going to have to figure out the molecular one. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be H6. And two carbons. Now, if you call it C2H6, you're a wonderful person. You probably call it H6C2, and that's good enough for this class. Okay? We'll learn why the other one's better. Never, but in college I'll teach you. Match the structural formula, arrangement, to the appropriate molecular formula, count. So check this out. One, two, three H's and an N. Whee! One, two, three, four H's and a C. Four H's and a C. Wee. F2. Wee. O H H. H2. O. Wee. Hope there's a million of those. Give molecular formulas for these. Now you'll never be asked to go the other way around. We don't know how to do those yet. So this is 1H, 2H, H2. 1O, 2O, O2. Like do carbons first. Carbon, carbon, C2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, H, 6, O. Not all bonds are single. There are double bonds. Double bonds have four electrons. They're stronger, but not twice as strong. And they're shorter. Sh shorter things are stronger. Okay. If you've ever tried to, if you have a stick, and you, these are your hands and your arms, and you decide you're going to try and 
break because you're strong. You're going to break this stick over your knee. I can't draw a knee. So I'm going to break it over your knee. If it's a wide stick, it's easy to do. But if it's shorter, if the stick was shorter, right, you're still trying to do the same thing. There's my scrawny body trying to break the stick. Okay. If it's shorter, it's harder to do. Okay. Triple bonds have six electrons. Now, four electrons is often called two pairs. Wow. It's often called three pairs. Oh, that's why it's triple. Because single is one pair. Stronger than single and double. Shorter than single and double. Quadruple bonds don't exist. There's too much repulsion because too many electrons close together. Too many electrons close by. Deek. Review. Hey, you know what? Connect the dots. La, la, la. Connect the dots. Toodles.